The first 20 minutes are complete. Gideon to the alley, gets low, step through, up, and good! Gideon George! The second half is about to begin. Rudy right side, jumps into the paint, little late footer, short, offensive rebound again, and score by Rudy! This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Second half is underway here in Stockton. BYU by 13 Pacific. Left to right as we see it and you hear it. A couple of lineup changes for Coach Leonard Perry here in the second half. Judson Martindale getting a second half start. Greg Outlaw getting a second half start. Keelan Boone left corner pulling fire from three and knocks it down to start the second half. They're going to call that a two. Long two. Yeah, long, long, long two. So Keelan Boone with now eight lead down to 11, 36-25 and a travel up. So, second half starts with a made two and a turnover for BYU. That's 12 turnovers to 11 field goals made. And again, you're looking for that number to come down after halftime with 11 giveaways. So, 11-point lead for BYU, 36-25. Three WCC games at halftime and all three double-digit leads. LMU up 13 at Portland. St. Mary's up 16 at home to San Diego. A miss down low by Nick Blake and a rebound. Nick Keelan Boone the miss and the rebound to BYU. Waterman gets into the alley. Gets right to the rim and draws a foul by <laughs> by Judson Martindale as a cameraman goes to the floor beneath the basket. Waterman ran into the cameraman. That's going to happen. Close quarters on the basket under the basket there. Yeah, that, that much, not much Noah can do there. It's really tight quarters over yeah. there. Yeah. They're going to Make sure that guy's okay. Rob Ramos, BYU's trainer, is going to check him out. BYU have an in line, an inbounds from the baseline to Waterman right side. Jackson Robinson open for three. Missed it right side. Rebounds Keelan Boone. He's got eight. Pacific down 11, 36-25. First minute gone here in the second half. Judson Martindale drives. His drift pass in the corner is deflected by Hall and picked off by Robinson. Down for Waterman. Bounces once, gets right to the rim. Blocked from behind and fouled from behind. Noah's going to shoot two. So and two he, quick fouls against Pacific here in the second half, and that will be Keelan Boone picking up his third. Noah got on his horse. Beat the first defender, but just couldn't get past Boone, and Boone uh, sends him the line for two. So Noah, on a three-point night, gets two free throws. Misses the first, strong. Noah... Under 50% on his free throws on the year. 47% coming in two tonight. BYU by 11, 36-25. Noah makes the second of two. So one for two on the trip. BYU by 12, 37-25. Yeah, Noah and Jackson both have been shooting more free throws lately after not shooting a whole lot of free throws to begin the season. Mo Odom turns the corner up top. Left wing open three. Martindale, heavy. Rebound Hall. Dallin Hall down the barrel. Underhand scoop to Gideon George. Gideon barely played in the first half with foul trouble. Dallin Hall will drive it. Stop at mid-alley right out to Gideon George. Three-point land left and takes a hold out front. That's going to be three quick fouls on Pacific here. Oh, no. no they call the other way. Another th- three-second in the key turnover. And BYU has 13 turnovers now to 11 field goals made. The Cougars have a 12-point lead in a game where they've made two fewer shots than they have giveaways. That's not a normal formula. And that's, I think it's the first time I've seen multiple three-second calls in a game this season, Greg. Correct me if I'm wrong. It feels that way, yeah. And the thing is, Pacific only has five turnovers. So it's not like Pacific's turning the ball over a lot either. Tigers have gotten off five more shots than BYU. Yet trail by double digits. Mo Odom to the left elbow. Pull up jumper in and out. And then Foose lost the rebound, but to his teammate Jackson Robinson. Pacific shooting a low number in the 20s right now. That's why BYU has the 12-point lead. Foose sees a soft double. Now back to a single team. Straight away, Dallin Hall. Dallin Hall top of the key with a 15-second shot clock. Dallin Hall crossover to the bump. A driving kick. Gideon will fake the three. Take a baseline drive, a short drive out to Hall. Hall will jab it from the three-point line. A crossover, step back, triple, and knocks it down! Dallin Hall with our Zions Bank shot of the game. For the support you need to power forward, Zions Bank is for you. That was huge. Dallin Hall's first field goal make is a three to give BYU a game-high 15-point lead, 40-25. to 25. In the Hall cheering section that's here at Media Young Service Mission of Fresno, a bunch of people here watching him. And we've got a foul on Dallin Hall. Makes the three at one end, commits a foul at the other. Dallin Hall with four points, and now threes in eight of his last ten games. And that may be the one the most difficult ones he's made over that stretch. It was. 
Step back, man in his face. Shot clock winding down. 40-25, to 25, BYU by 15. It's another oh, up, Mountain oh, America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. 17.25 to play here in Stockton. Cougs up by 15 for the first time tonight. Abdolovich straight away Odom. Odom to the left wing. We'll hand off there to go, Judson boy. Martindale. Martindale right wing Abdolovich. Abdolovich will drive. Kick in the right corner to Denson. Reverse lay in. Missed. Oh, that's a tough luck miss for Pacific. The rebound to BYU right to the rim and couldn't get it to drop. Waterman. Jackson Robinson, three, off the iron, the window, and rebounded by Denson. Denson outlet Odom. Odom cross-court from left to right to Martindale. On the arc, pull, fire, score for three. Judson Martindale with his first field goal. It's a triple, and it's down to a 12-point lead, 40-28. to 28. He better have made that because he stole from the nation's top three-point shooter right there. Gideon George, three-point land left. 16.30 to play here in Stockton. Waterman top of the key. Left wing George. George holds it at his knees. Looks low to Foose. Foose, single team. No double yet to the middle. Foose, jump hook is no good in the rebound. Lost by George to Odom. He was Odom down open, floor. Though. Odom, a jump pass to the baseline. A bobbled ball out to Abdalovich for three. And he missed it. Got a good look. So dangerous there. Abdalovich with two threes on the night. Misses there. Rebound to Foose and BYU down floor. He doesn't miss that often, Greg. Especially not this season. Two threes in the first half for Abdolovich. Foose hands off left wing to Gideon George. Open for three for a moment. Under 16-minute media timeout is coming on the whistle. BYU by 12, 40-28. Jackson Robinson right side, top side. Down to a seven-second shot clock. Jackson terminates mid-alley left. Underhand scoop turned it over to Luke Abdolovich. Abdolovich down floor. Odom. Odom on the arc to the trailer. Denson. Denson runs it to the rim and missed the shot but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws after this. That's turnover number 13 for BYU. The Cougs still more turnovers than shots made but still it's BYU by double digits. 40-28. to 28. Timeout on the floor. Tiger shoot free throws after this. We have 15-40 to play in Stockton. That's turnover number 14 by the way. 14 turnovers to 12 shots. May we take a break. 15.40 to go. BYU by 12, 40 to 28 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rebell, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. As we come back in, 33% free throw shooter Cam Denson at the line for two free throws. BYU up 12. Denson misses the first wide left. Wow. He's now 7 for 22 at the free throw line. Cam Denson stays scoreless on the night. BYU by a dozen, 40 to 28. Denson's second of two. 0 for 2. Offensive rebound Pacific. And the whistle and a foul for BYU. Noah Waterman, as Denson goes 0 for 2, it's an offensive foul. Or rather, it's an offensive foul on the defensive rebound oh, the offensive by Greg rebound. Outlaw. Yeah, that's... A defensive he, foul on the... Or rather, an offensive... Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. After Pacific gained possession on the missed free throw, Noah Waterman fouled. Yeah, you just... You get, there's two Cougars on there. just got to grab that rebound. So now it's a reset and a baseline send in for the Tigers. With 15.36 to go, lead stays 12, 40 to 28. So an 0 for 2 trip, and Pacific keeps the ball. Two free throws that were not close to being made. Mo Odom. Drive it down the lane. Nearly traveled. Goes back on a U-turn to the paint. And then turns it over. Richie Saunders on the steal. He's got Dallin Hall with him. Richie will take it himself. Drive it up and miss it. And he'll get two free throws out of it. Two on one. That The Cougars now need to make free throws to convert points. Yeah, good job by Richie. I mean, that, that wasn't the greatest pass, but he, he took it upon himself to take it to the lane and uh, head to the line for two. Team foul situation... Three apiece in the second half. Richie to the line for two. Makes the free throw. He's got four points on the night. He's now nine for 17. So he was exactly 50% on his free throw tries coming into the night. Nudges above that. And now falls back to 50%. But offensive rebound to Jackson Robinson. Missed it. Gideon George makes it. Robinson recollects the offensive rebound. Two of them for Jackson on this possession. Just trying to, trying to get those rebound stats up. So on a one for two free throw stint. Cooks keep the ball, and then Dallin Hall knocks it down. Give them all three. Deck the halls. Bang, bang, baby. <laughs> a four-point possession for BYU on the free throw by Richie and the three-pointer for Dallin Hall. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three for Hall. His second three. Outlaw jumper settles home from the free throw line. 
And I think that's some of the difference of the game is Pacific had a second chance to get some points. They didn't. BYU has four points on that possession. So Outlaw with his first field goal. He has four. The lead for BYU is 14. The runner to the rim. Off the window and in for Jackson Robinson. 44. Make it 46 to 30. Yep. The scoreboard, I think, is off right now. 44-28. 46-30 should be the score. And they've got 44-32 on the scoreboard. 46-30 is our score. The scoreboard is off as it has been a couple times tonight. Right corner. Now straight away, Mo Odom. The scoreboard shows 44-32. Now they've got to fix it. 46-32. It should go back to 46-30 to as Pacific turns it over in the right corner, deflected by BYU. The scoreboard is back to correct at 46-30. So a huge three-pointer moments ago from Dallin Hall. His second three, both coming in the second half. BYU by a game-high 16 now, 46-30. to It'll stay Pacific possession with a three-second shot clock. And What are they doing? Before the ball can be inbounded, I heard a whistle. Saunders got tied up with Outlaw, but I don't see a foul being called here. So they'll I just saw people just running around. Yeah. I, I, can't, I, I, don't have, I don't have a great view here, Greg. I apologize. Off the inbound, Outlaw blocked from behind by Rudy Williams. Back to Outlaw, and the shot clock expires before the shot can go up. With 14:01, how many, how many to play? 46 to 30, the lead and the ball. How many career blocks do you think Rudy Williams has? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say I count them on one hand, but it's probably not a big number. What does he have? So he has nine as Division One, 16 as a career. Okay. So we'll go 16, so you, you have to take your shoes off for that one. <laughs> Rudy Williams out front. Straight away, Spencer Johnson. Ten first half points for Spencer. Hesitation. Gets to the mid-alley left. Turnaround jumper. Good! Spencer Johnson with 12 in his return after five weeks rehabbing a knee injury. BYU by 18 for the first time tonight. 48-30. to 30. Driving is Martindale. Short on his shot at the rim. Good contest by BYU. Saunders on the rebound. Cross court Rudy. Rudy fakes it left corner. Goes to the trailer. Jackson Robinson. Pull. Fire. Missed the three. Rebound. Collected by Odom. Over at Tiki Alley. At Tiki. Outlet Denson. Denson fouled by Rudy out front with 13.20 to go. Non-shooting. That'll be BYU's fourth team foul of the second half. Yeah, Fouls know. four for BYU, three for uh, Pacific. Tice. Uh, Spencer just brings a calm. Right, even when he's in that pain, he he didn't rush the shot. He kind of just figured out what his options were, and he said, "Hey, the best the best way to do it is just turn around and shoot the ball." Nick Blake, left wing, terminate give there to Cam Denson. Denson, up high to Gray Outlaw. Outlaw crossing over on Saunders. We'll drive on him. Cuff it, blocked by Richie, and a foul by Saunders. So Saunders. We'll send the Tigers to the line with 13.06 to play. BYU by 18, game high lead at 48 to 30. And Outlaw, a 53% free throw shooter coming in two tonight, but was two for two in the first half. He'll get two free throws here. He's got four points on the night. His season number is now 11 for 19 at the free throw line. And you can make it 11 for 20 as he misses the first of two. Yeah, Richie, Richie, on, that, on that sequence, I think Richie had the foul a little bit early because it was a clean block, but, I mean, he did get body before he even shot the ball. So, Richie, that's good defense, just a little too much body. Just being physical, that's what you want. Mm-hmm. Outlaw, second of two, missed the first. One for two on the trip. So, five points for Outlaw, averaging 3.3 per game. BYU's lineup, Rudy Williams, Jackson Robinson, Gideon George, Atiki Ali, Atiki Spencer Johnson. We are seven minutes into half number two. BYU by 17, 48-31. Rudy Williams. Left wing Spencer Johnson drives to the left block. Pulls it out to the left corner. Now on the wing left side is Rudy. Rudy gets into the paint. Stops at 15 feet out to Spencer. Ball fake. Step back. Three. No front rim. And then over the top, what do we have? We have an offensive foul on BYU. Atiki Ali Atiki over the back. It'll be team foul number... Five, six for BYU. So Pacific will shoot the rest of the way. So the fouls are six for BYU to three for Pacific. Cougs with a 17-point lead, 12.43 to go here at the Alex G. Spano Center. BYU's final WCC opener. Nick Blake, slow bounce out front. Right-hand dribble going to his left. Enters it outside the right elbow to Keelan Boone. Boone. To Blake. A baseline drift pass and a three-pointer missed. 
but fouled on the follow through is Jalen Brown. Is nope. He's, he put his leg out. That's what they're going to call out there. He put his another, leg out. Oh, so Spencer Johnson did not get called for the foul. It's the other way around. Yeah, they, they're saying he put his leg out, which is an offensive foul. So it'll be foul number four on Pacific. So on the kick, follow through by Brown. That's actually a foul. That's, the foul's not been recorded on the board yet, but it's foul number four. Jalen Brown picks it up. They could have also called flop and free throw the other way, but they just gave him a straight foul. It is foul number four to BYU's six. They've now recorded it on the board. Dallin Hall will drive it, get right to the left block. Pass right corner, Jackson Robinson. Jackson Robinson works it around the arc. Now a Tiki, mid post right. Reverse pivot to face, gets into the painted area. Squeezes oh, what a it move. up and what a scores move. it. What a move. Atiki Ali Atiki the, kept the pivot foot down and then switch, steps through and switch to the left hand. Nice touch by Atiki. First bucket of the night for Atiki Ali Atiki. He's got two. BYU by 19 for the first and then he time. Out. And a block shot at the other end by Atiki. And then Gideon George too long and too high and too hard for Jackson Robinson. It is turnover number 15 for BYU. Timeout on the floor with BYU trying to run it to a 20 point advantage. 11.46 to go. BYU by 19. 50 to 31. We're taking a break on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. BYU women's hoops handling its business right now. Leading Pacific in the third quarter, 43-32. And yes, Lauren Gusson already with a double-double. 12 points, 13 rebounds. Back to Pacific. Alongside Tyson Jex, here's Greg Rubel. Thank you, Shep. Pacific basketball, 11.35 to play in the game. Long three right side taken and missed by Keelan Boone. Offensive rebound, Makai Richards on a reset for the Tigers. Straight away, Nick Blake into the painted area. Let a lot of control. Underhand scoop shot missing at the right side of the rim. Rudy Williams on the rebound to Gideon George, base right. Cut off, double team. Straight away to Rudy for three. Top of the key, in and out. And rebound, Makai Richards. Loose ball foul on Richards. And that'll be team foul number five on Pacific. So Cougs will keep possession of the foul by Richards. I think he, I would say he gets rewarded for that, but uh, I mean he's he's been hitting the glass really hard, and he gets them another offensive possession. Baseline send in for Hall. The inbound is knocked out of bounds by Judson Martindale. It'll stay BYU basketball. 19 second shot clock. 11 15, 11 15 game clock here in the second half. BYU by 19 at 50 to 31. It is the game high lead. BYU led at the break by 13, 36 to 23. Jackson Robinson drives to the mid alley right. Put it on the floor. Send it back out to Dallin Hall with an eight second shot clock. Dallin Hall straight away. Jumps a pass to Robinson. Three right side. Banks it in from the right side off the window. Banks may be closing Utah, but they're still open in California. So Jackson Robinson with a three that hits window on its way in. That's three threes for Robinson. 12 points on the night. A miss near the rim on the other end by Pacific. BYU on the rebound. Williams cross-court Jackson Robinson again. This one's strong, and the rebound falls to Nick Blake, and now to Jalen Brown. BYU by 22 for the first time tonight, 53-31. It's the Kooks' first 20-point lead here in Stockton. Let's go, team! Jackson Robinson, 14 points to lead the Kooks. He and Spencer Johnson leading the way. Spencer with 12. Blake left wing. Keelan Boone, short corner, mid post left. Turnaround jumper, strong rebound Cougs. BYU, 38 rebounds to Pacific's 22. Rudy Williams accelerate to the rim. Up and in. Beautifully done. Rudy Williams hits the gas and takes it to the 10 for two. He said, uh, I'll take this myself. Great move by Rudy. He, I mean, we've seen that a lot more as he's got on the scoring streak off the bench. Just didn't wait for anybody to just took it for himself. Six Forcing for Rudy. Out. And we'll take a break. Rudy Williams claps the hands. And a, that's a winning look on his face as he comes to the bench. It's a 30-second timeout. Turns into a full. We'll take it. 9.49 to go. BYU by 24. Now for the first time. 55-31. Cougs pulling away here on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Bam Bam's Barbecue, bringing you authentic Central Texas barbecue. Try their tender brisket or mouth-watering pulled pork. Bam Bam's Barbecue, located just north of BYU's campus. Bam Bam's a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. We're back in. 9.45 to play. BYU by 24. 55-31 Pacific Basketball. They go left to right as we see it and you hear it. The Tigers front court away from us to our right. 
He spinned into the paint and right up to the rim and in. The spinning lane for Keelan Boone. He's got 10. He's the first Tiger in double figures. Dallin Hall, three-point range right side. Crosses over on Judson Martindale. Drives and kicks high to Jackson Robinson. Robinson holds high to Rudy Williams. Rudy to the top. Rudy terminates. Whips it left side to Jackson Robinson. Stripe extended. His pass to the right wing. Deflected, taken over, taken away. Turnover number 16 for BYU. A pass bobbled by Keelan Boone on the other end. BYU has two more field goals made than turnovers tonight. And then turnover number... 10 for the Tigers as they whip one into the boundary. So 9.02 to play, and BYU's lead 22 at 55-33. Yeah, just sloppy basketball for both teams on that position. Um, I don't know who he's passing to, but maybe that's a president or athletic director over there that was sitting just trying to give him some extra love. Cook's looking to survive a high turnover night here in Stockton. Rudy Williams between the circles. Right wing to Jackson Robinson. Pulls and fires and scores from three. He's a sniper. Jackson Robinson with a career high 17 points. He can hoop. Straight away, Keelan Boone. And for Jackson Robinson, fourth three on the night as well. One, one shy of his career high. A driving kick, right corner. Pass back on the give and go to Boone. Boone right to the rim again, up and in. So two short makes for Keelan Boone here in the second half. Boone now with 12 to pace the Tigers. Gideon George wheels his way through traffic and releases high to Robinson. Robinson behind the back at the free throw line. Gives to Gideon. Gideon, 18-footer, short on the shot. Great rebound by Gideon. Fouls his miss and then missed at the rim, but he's fouled. He'll get free throws out of it. So Gideon will go to the stripe on the foul by Makai Richards on Richards number two and on the Tigers number six. So the team fouls are even six apiece. Both, both teams will be in the bonus rest of the way. We have 8.07 to play, and 58.35 is our score. BYU by 23. And Gideon George, scoreless on the night, goes yeah. to the line for uh, two free throws. And, that was and his, makes the first. And that was his 34th re- offensive rebound of the year, setting a new career high in a season. He had 33 last year, so now he's 34. Only 16 games into the season. Wow. He's just been so good on offensive glass. He just knows where the ball is going to fall, and he's just so aggressive. Jackson Robinson, previous career high was 16 in the USC game. Yep. Jackson was 17, new high set as Gideon George goes two for two, and the Cougs lead by 25. A runner at the rim is missed at the other end by the Tigers, and BYU on the rebound, 60-35, to 35, 25-point lead, the under eight-minute media timeout coming on the whistle. Rudy Williams, right side, top side, free throw line, dive low, kick corner, Gideon George from the left to the hoop. And drift pass to the right corner. Stepped on the baseline, did he? Turned it over. Turnover number 17 for BYU. It takes us to a timeout. 7.49 to play. BYU, despite the turnover trouble, leads by 25. 60-35, to 35, Cougs over the Tigers on this Thursday night. Catfight on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Basketball brought to you by Sierra West. Diamonds Direct, lowest prices in three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers, we price match. 60-35, to 35, BYU by 25. We're back in, 7.45 to go here in Stockton. Tigers going away from us to our right, driving it right to the rim. A reverse lay-in on some contact as Tyler Beard is fouled. He's on a scoreless night. He'll go to the free throw line on the foul by Fuseni Traore. For Fus, that's number one on BYU number seven. Two-shot foul. Tyler Beard averaging 10.7 has nothing. Jordan Ivy Curry averaging 10.7 has nothing. I wonder if uh, bringing in Mo Odom to start has affected kind of... Because who did he replace, Greg? You would know that better than I would. Uh, He replaced Ivy Curry. Donovan Williams. Donovan Williams. Technically, it was the one empty spot. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you're, you're two, pretty much your two top bench players haven't, haven't done much, yeah, right? That's, that's, that's 20 points. It's 20-plus 20 points with no production as Beard misses the first of two. And misses the second of two. So an 0-for-2 trip for the 74% free throw shooter Tyler Beard. He stays scoreless. Rebound Waterman. Dallin Hall front court. Pacific started 5-for-5 five five from the free throw line. And now they're one of their last... Nine. nine yeah, that's... Or nine, eight or nine. Yeah, that's not... You gotta make you gotta make the freebies. Yeah, one for nine after five for five, six of fourteen total. Oh yeah. Ten second shot clock, seven fifteen game clock. Dallin Hall runs it down the left side of the lane, a one hand whip in the right side. Gideon George for three, missed it, but an offensive rebound for Foose. Foose on the reset. 
holds it out with his big right hand, dives it low, and then knocks it off of Keelan Boone out of bounds. So it's a 15-second shot clock and a 7.06 game clock. Fuseni Traore, six points all coming in the first half. Six rebounds to go along with his six points. That's his first offensive rebound tonight, which is strange because, I mean, he's one of the best offensive rebounders in the nation. BYU 9-8 to eight on the offensive boards tonight. Noah Waterman from the top of the key. Loda Fus sees the half double. Out to Rudy. Will fake the three. Will drive it. Take contact at the rim, and he'll get two free. Oh, offensive foul on Rudy. Wow, Deldry Carr make that call, and he booked it to the other end. So it's turnover at number... Is that 18 for BYU? It is. 18 turnovers to 19 field goals made. I think Rudy was expecting a similar call that Baird just got on the other end, but Carr had the best angle, and he made what he thought was the right call. Greg Outlaw drives it, spins on Waterman, gets right to the rim, scoop and score for Greg Outlaw. Outlaw with his second field goal. He's got seven, and it's a 23-point game, 60-37. to 637 to play here in Stockton. Rudy Williams, right-hand dribble to the right side. Now takes it left outside the three-point line. Rudy to Dallin Hall between the circles. BYU in royal blue, Pacific in white with black and orange. Dallin drive, kick, Rudy. Rudy from the three-point range to the paint. Floats it up, missed it. And the rebound to Tyler Beard. Beard. Left wing, Abdolovich. Transition triple. Yep, knocked it down. Luke Abdolovich, three threes. His first of the second half. All of his scoring done from the arc. And the Cougar lead is cut to 20 at 60 to 40. Six minutes even to play here in Stockton. Gideon George open for three. Pole fires short. Rebound Abdolovich. BYU starting to force some stuff on the offensive end. Gideon George still looking for his first field goal of the night. Abdolovich another three. This one's back rimmed, but an offensive rebound by Keelan Boone. He's fouled. He'll get free throws. One and one. 5.47 to go. Some work to be done here to finish this one out. Dallin Hall picks up his third foul. Cougs have their eighth, and so it's one and one for Keelan Boone, who's one for one at the free throw line. Front end situation for the junior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's 13 for 16 on his free throws for the year. So 80% plus for Boone. Front end situation. BYU's up 20, 60 to 40. Cougar game high lead's been 25, but it's a 5-0 spurt right now for the Tigers. Looking to stay within shouting distance if possible. Free throw miss. A front end miss. Big miss there by Keelan Boone. That, yeah, they're just they're struggling from the free throws in the second half. But Noah, you, Noah Waterman and Dallin Hall each with three fouls, okay. by the way, now. Shane, Boone's been more aggressive in the second half. First half, he was just shooting a lot of threes. He's been taking it to the rim a lot more. Rudy Williams, drive extended left side. To the top of the key. Hesitation dribble. Right wing, Dallin Hall. Dallin Hall spins into the paint. Underhand scoop and missed it off the iron. That was a, that was a great move. I just couldn't get the finish down. Pretty look at the rim by Dallin Hall as Pacific drives it to the other end of the floor. He gets a kick out of bounds. They say off of BYU, it'll stay Pacific basketball. So Dallin Hall, everything but the finish, a finger roll at the window and just off the iron, no. So it stays 20 for BYU. 60 to 40 is our score. 5.15 to play. Here at the Spano Center in Stockton. Tyler Beard, baseline trigger to Outlaw. Base right, 15-foot range. Steps back on Waterman to the cutter Boone Boone to the rim up and in and the foul chance for a three point play as Keelan Boone scores points number 13 and 14 chance to make it 15 at the line down to an 18 point game 7 nothing. Tiger run right now with 5-10 to play yeah Boone has been so much more aggressive so Boone who just missed a big front end gets to the line to complete a three point play Team foul number nine for BYU to six for the Tigers. Tigers will shoot two the rest of the way. Boone at the line. Boone with 14. Make it 15. Here, BYU, here, right, Greg. I think you just need to slow it down a little bit. Get, get, get more of a flow. They've been out of the flow. That's allowed the Pacific, the, the, allowed the Tigers kind of get on uh, this little run they have. Eight nothing. Tiger run. 60 to 43. Exactly five minutes to go. Rudy Williams, left wing. Spencer Johnson. Johnson drives hard to the left block. A one hand whip up high to Richie. Richie will drive it and kick it back out to Johnson. Johnson straight away Williams. Rudy with a seven second shot clock. Rudy at the free throw line. Man on his backside and takes a foul out front. That's good. That's one and one for Rudy with 4.45 to go. The foul will go against Greg Outlaw. His first team foul number seven. So big front end situation for Rudy as Pacific missed a front end opportunity moments ago. BYU looking to end an eight nothing run. And they can do so with Rudy at the free throw line. Rudy, in his last nine games, 35 for 42, 83% on his free throws. Shoots and scores. Touched every part of the rim right there, Greg. 
So the run of 8-0 is ended by Rudy at the line. BYU by 18-61 to 43. And the question has been this year when, when other teams go on a run, kind of bring it close. Who's going to be that guy that scores for BYU, right? And it's been Rudy of lately, and, it, and he shows right here. He gets to the line. Rudy with 7, and Rudy with 8. 2 for 2, and that was dead center. So 4 in the first half, 4 in the second half, and Rudy makes it a 19-point game, 62-43. to 43. Pacific on front court. Keelan Boone, guarded by Richie Saunders, 30 feet away, left side, the handoff to Tyler Beard. Beard starts on Richie, steps back, shoots a three over him, and misses it. Long rebound, out of bounds, and BYU basketball. 4.27 to go, Cougar basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. Greg Grubel, Tyson Jacks in for Mark Durant tonight. Tyson looking to go 2-0 and on the headset this year. BYU up front, Dallin Hall making Spencer Johnson to Atiki Ali Atiki on the arc left side. Atiki. Skip pass to Rudy Williams right side down to a 12-second shot clock. Open in the corner, Spencer Johnson for three, and he knocks it down! Spencer Johnson! Just so smooth. He's wide open. I mean, you know you're going to get with Spencer Johnson. 15 off the bench for Spencer Johnson, picking up exactly where he left off before his injury. Timeout on the floor in the Pacific front court with four minutes to play. We're taking a break, and BYU's back up 22 again. So the Tigers cut into a 25-point lead, and BYU's opening it back up. We're taking our four-minute media timeout on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. We are back in, and Gideon George steps in for a steal, takes it all the way to the 10 for two. Gideon George, the steal, the sprint, and the score. That'll be our Palmer's Metal Mart steal of the game. Brought to you by Palmer's Metal Mart, your local metal supplier for over 26 years, and it gives BYU a 24-point lead. Greg Outlaw hammered on his way to the hole. He'll get two free throws. After the make by Gideon George. Gideon, with that field goal, scores his first two from the field on the night. Four points on the evening, and BYU by 24 yeah, I think... Oh, sorry, Greg. Now, Cougars on a 7 nothing run, and it could be ended here by the Tigers, but BYU responded well to yep. Pacific cutting it under 20, and then BYU settling back in and getting some good looks, and that's as good as you're going to get on a steal from half court. Gideon taking it in for the lay-in. Greg Outlaw will shoot two the other way on team foul number 10. Missed the free throw, Dud, at Outlaw. Yeah, I was just, you just I mean, kind of took my thought of saying that Pacific looked like they were kind of making their way back in, and then Rudy makes those two free throws. They go on a run, and I mean, not, not saying they've won, but 24 points in less than four minutes would be unheard of. 3.36 to go. BYU by 24. 67 to 43. The Cougar game high lead's been 25. Outlaw goes 0 for 2. And Saunders grabs the rebound. And as Tyson noted a moment ago, Pacific really struggling from the stripes. since opening up 5 for 5. They've gone 2 for 12 from the free throw line. And that's it's kind of a weird thing is because usually teams shoot really good from the free throw line and from three-pointer against BYU. Neither, the, the Pacific has done neither of those. Oh, what a play! As Richie Saunders labs it up for a TK. And, they and he hammers it home on the alley oop, and then a turnover on the inbound. Atiki, Atiki, he has the Pacific fans right behind the bench cheering for him. You know it's a good dunk when the other team's like, "All right, let's cheer for this guy." He can send that uh, that player, uh, him and his family, a poster next year from what he just did to him. Game high, twenty-six point lead, and then the Cougars pin an offensive foul, a turnover, as they. Get the ball off the Pacific turnover following the make by Atiki. Turnover number 19 for BYU. But in this high turnover game, BYU has now a game high lead of 69 to 43, 26 point cushion. Atiki Ali Atiki with four, all coming here in the second half. And those last two on an emphatic alley oop. The Atiki alley oop Atiki. Throw it down, to play. <laughs> Makai Richards straight away, Keelan Boone. Boone. Mid-range jumper falling away. Nicely done. Keelan Boone really picking it up after halftime. He's got 17. That ties his career high. And that's, I mean, BYU, you can live with that shot. 69-45. to 45, BYU by 24. 245 to go. Tigers pressing. BYU beats it into front court. For all those Twitter people, that's two back-to-back presses that they beat. <laughs> Richie Saunders left side. Top side. Richie will drive it. Get right to the rim. Stop. Pivot foot down. Drift pass to Rudy Williams left wing. Rudy jabbing on Outlaw. Breaks his ankles and fouls in the process. Richie William, Rudy Williams is called for the shove. And so turnover number 20 for BYU to 22 field goals made. 69-45, to 45, BYU by 24 with 2.27 to go. So Rudy will have a seat. Trey Stewart will check in. 
Williams on the bench now with two fouls. Satiki Ali Atiki with four for BYU. Two twenty to go. BYU big, sixty nine forty five on a twenty turnover night. But enough other good things getting done. Turnover by the Tigers. Yes, Trey Stewart on the steal. So Trey from back to front, right to left as we see it and you hear it. 2-10 to go. BYU looking to close it out and go to 1-0 in the WCC. Spencer Johnson, 3, no. Glances off the far rim. Spencer Johnson holding it 15, 3 off a career high. His three threes tonight, though, are a career high tying. Yep. yep. Three, three uh, triples for Spencer Johnson. Left wing outlaw. Outlaw to the top. Down the lane. Short pass picked off. Another turnover for the Tigers. That's 14 for them. And then BYU gives it away. That's turnover number 21 for the Cougars. And so back and forth with giveaways we go. They must have forgot to give somebody some presents during Christmas because they're in the giving mood right now. And that's the most turnovers BYU's had in a game since the Nichols home game back in Before they November. Nickel, when they nickled and dimed it? They did it for 21 giveaways that night. And they also won by big that game as well. So 20 turnovers hasn't been a... A deal breaker by any stretch for Cougar for the Cougars this year. 90 seconds to go. BYU will win this one. The final score, TBD, 69-45. BYU by 24. Running it to the free throw line. Mo Odom backs it out to the arc and straight away to Keelan Boone. Boone gets around Saunders. Saunders catches up on the defensive assignment. Turnaround jumper by Boone. Settles home. And Keelan Boone, a new career high, 19 points. 109 to go. BYU by 22. Is that a good second half? BYU basketball brought to you by Built Bar. Built Bar introducing the new Cougar Tail Puff. Inspired by BYU's very own 16-inch maple bar. The best part about the Built Cougar Tail Puff is that you support the BYU football program when you buy one. BYU in front court with a 10-second shot clock. Dallin Hall, slow bounce. Out front. Dallin to the top. Into a three. Shoots and strong. Rebound Odom. 69-47. BYU by 22. 40 seconds to play. Odom right side. A step back on Trey Stewart. Restarts on him. Hands low to Makai Richards. Richards at the rim. Banks and scores. Makai Richards with his first two. 20-point game. Shot clock is off. BYU can bounce it out. If the Tigers will let them do that. BYU basketball brought to you by Fillmore Spencer. Utah County's favorite local law firm. Can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, attorneys at law. Solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. The Cougars seize the opportunity here in Stockton. The clock will run out. BYU in possession. That will do it. It's a 20-point win for BYU and the Cougs. WCC opener, 69-49. The final horn, and that'll do it here in Stockton. Cougars win it by 20 to open their final season in the West Coast Conference on the winning side of the ledger. BYU 69, Pacific 49, our final score. Post-game coverage begins next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Cougar fans, dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody, from burgers to wings, to shakes to salads, JCW's quality, and a lot of it in Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and Harriman. And quality, and a lot of it, describes most of BYU basketball tonight. Yes, that was a high turnover night for the Cougars, but good shooting night, good rebounding night, and good three-point defense on the Tigers as BYU wins this one by a final score of 69-49. to Cougars have now won their sixth in a row and open 1-0 in the WCC and go to 1-1 and in true away games. Let's get you to our Waystar star of the game, brought to you by Waystar. Simplifying health care payments. Learn more at Waystar.com. We're going to go with Waystar co-stars of the game tonight. Jackson Robinson and Spencer Johnson. Jackson Robinson, career high, 17 points. And one off a career high, six rebounds. Jackson was 6 of 13 from the field, including 4 of 10 from deep. And Spencer Johnson, in his first game in five weeks away, scores 15, three off a career high. Career high tying three threes. He goes 15 points and three rebounds in his return. He led BYU with two steals as well. So the Waystar co-stars of the game are Spencer Johnson and Jackson Robinson. Now to our New Skin Data Discovery of the Game. Brought to you by New Skin, your innovative beauty and wellness company that helps you look, feel, and live better. And we're going to have to go to three-point shooting. BYU, 11 for 25, 44%. And that's 11% better than the Cougars' season average of 33% behind the arc. Conversely, Pacific, 
a top 25 team nationally in three-point percentage at 39% on the arc from the year. They were held 13% below their number at 26%, 6 of 23. So Pacific, minus 13% from the arc. BYU, plus 11% from the arc on season numbers as the Cougs win this one by 20 by a final score of 69 to 49. More from the box scores coming up, but coming up next it is BYU's Cougar Post Game Live broadcast with Jason Shepard. We'll return after Jason coming back courtside, and we'll have player and coach interviews from here at the Alex G. Spano Center. So BYU, after leading by 13 at the break, wins it by 20, 69 to 49. And the leading scores for BYU were Jackson Robinson, 17, and Spencer Johnson, 15. Cougars win their sixth in a row, go to 11 and five. Tigers fall to seven and nine on the year. Jason Shepard, Cougar Post Game Live, coming up next, and back to Stockton for player and coach conversations here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.